and gentlemen, welcome to your fine, beautiful faces. Welcome to another GTA 5 video. This time around, the Cunning Stunts DLC has dropped and has given us some more new cars. Oh my good god. Now, all these cars are very well, they're all pretty much exactly the same in terms of they all look like stunt cars and they all have some crazy livery all over them. And well, this bad boy we're going to be showcasing this time around is the Anis RE7B, is it? I, I, I don't know. I'm guessing the Anis RE being like the short for subject 7B. I'm just going to say 7B is probably the easiest thing to do. But I absolutely love this one. Now, if you saw us other video on this bad boy here, the Progen Tyrus, I, I really like this car. But this one, when I look at it more and more, I absolutely love it. Now, you have the twin exhaust coming out on the sides. You have the crazy spoiler. That is just keeping it hugged down to the floor. It's got all its sexual curves. It's pretty much dropped on its ass. And I absolutely love it. I, I don't know what it is about it, but I freaking love it. Now, this bad boy is like, it's like the others. It, it comes in at a ridiculous price. Like a crazy, insane price. And, well, unfortunately, you need to be rather rich. So it is a little bit cheaper than the Progen Tyrus. It is obviously the second most expensive from the Legendary in terms of the Cunning Stunts new vehicles, as you can see. And you probably already know this, but 2.475 mil, which is just insane. Now, like the other ones, it comes with two default liveries that you can get. So it's up to you which one you get. Obviously, you can change this in the custom shop as well, so you're not actually stuck with this. But I got this one here, the Stanchia. I, I have no idea how to pronounce that, but there you go. I, I got the red one. There you go. Now, like the other one, like the Tyrus over there, what gets me is all these buttons inside of the car, look. Like, look at them all. They're, there's freaking heaps. Now, this one's got what? IGN, AC, aircon maybe? Fuel, P, water, and fan, just like the other uh, one over there. Now, I, I love the fact that we've got all these buttons, but seriously, like, what, what the hell are those two red and two yellow ones over there? And what, what's the RF? Hopefully someone in chat will be quite familiar with these types of cars and be able to tell me because I am actually genuinely intrigued. Now inside the car, it, it, it doesn't look very nice, I will be honest, but hey ho, we're going to go to the custom shop anyway. We're going to try and upgrade it and see what we can do with it. Now I haven't driven this one yet, so I don't know what it sounds like, but right now it actually sounds a lot better than the Tyrus. This one actually sounds a bit like a car. Whereas the Tyrus actually sounded like an electronic RC or remote control car, in my opinion. But this one actually sounds like a vehicle. Hmm. Oh, damn. Give that a little backspin on it right there. Now, it, it seems to drive quite nice, I will be honest. I mean, it's not blowing me away right now, but at least it sounds like a car, so that's a start. But let's get inside anyway and let's see what we can do with it. So, if you guys are just tuning in, you've never seen one of our videos before, you're probably wanting some technical specs and stuff like that. Unfortunately, we just showcase the cars. So, I literally buy the car, see what we can do to it, and show you guys what exactly we can do with a car, if anything at all. So, let's upgrade the car, let's upgrade the engine. Can we actually do anything? Exhaust? Alright, so we can change the exhaust a little bit. Oh, I quite like that. The titanium tuna exhaust puts a little bit of a blue tip on the exhaust, look. Oh, I quite like that. That's really nice. Okay, so we'll have that. Livery, obviously, we can change. Oh, my God. That looks horrendous. Let's keep it that. Uh, spoiler as well. What can we do with a spoiler? Oh, okay. So, we can move it up a little bit. I'll be honest. I quite like this one. I, qu I quite like the default one. I don't know about you guys, but I actually quite like the default one. I mean, there's not really much carbon on the car as it is. So, I don't think carbon spoiler is, is actually the best shout in terms of uh, an upgrade. I guess. I'm going to keep it with that, actually. Uh, let's drop it on its ass some more. Transmission, upgrade that. Turbo, yes. Wheels. I actually like the wheels on this one. I don't think we need to change the alloys. Whereas on the Tyrus, for example, we had to change the alloys. Just due to the fact that it looked a little bit sucky. And that is it. Okay. So let, let's respray it. Oh, so we got a secondary color on this one. On the Tyrus, you only have a primary color. You don't get the option for a secondary. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Um, let's go for as lava red like we normally do. Actually, no. Let's go with the ultra blue. Oh my god. Ooh, that looks really nice. That looks really, really nice. I'm going to go with the ultra blue. Uh, what can we do with the secondaries? So what does the secondary actually change? Does it change the inside of the car, maybe? I don't know what the secondary is actually changing. What is the secondary actually changing? 
I'm not seeing anything pop out in me. Okay, I, I'm legit confused. What is... What is the secondary actually changing? I'm not actually seeing anything. Let's go with yellow. I, I don't know what the secondary is changing. Guys, do you know what the secondary is changing? I guess... I, I literally have no idea what it is changing right now. Let's get the car out anyway. Let's see what we can do with it. And, well... I legit don't know what the yellow or the secondary colour has actually changed on this car. I will be honest, though. It sounds absolutely badass now. I really like this car. I really, really like this car. I like this car a lot more over the Tyrus. Oh, my God. Guys, let me know what your thoughts are on these new cars. Let me know which ones you like or which... Or what kind of car you would have liked to have seen. Oh, my good God. What the hell was that? Thank you for checking out this video. If you want to see some more, be sure to hit that subscribe button and smash that like. It would be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you in another video.